We have many coronal holes that continue to send us pockets of fast solar wind, and solar flux hangs on as a remnant active region is bright enough to boost propagation. Those stories and more in the shorty this week. Space weather this week has been a bit unsettled. We have these small coronal holes that have been sending us pockets of fast wind. As a matter of fact, we're in a fast wind stream right now, but they just don't last long enough and they're just not strong enough to get us up to storm levels. So aurora photographers, especially at mid-latitudes, the wait continues. As a matter of fact, you'll probably have to wait until we get closer to the end of the year when a large coronal hole will be rotating into the Earth strike zone. But meanwhile, we've been getting some decent shows for aurora at high latitudes and also these unsettled conditions have boosted radio propagation just a little bit and it also has helped GPS reception for those of you at low latitudes. Now on top of that we do have region 2731. This is now a decayed region. It's lost its designation by NOAA but it is still bright enough to be boosting that solar flux up into the marginal range. We're dealing with oh just kind of the hairy edge of marginal. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders enjoy the solar flux boost for another couple days before things begin to die down. But don't worry too much because in about another week we'll have a new region rotating into Earth view. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, because we're dealing with these small coronal holes that are sending these tiny pockets of fast wind, there's a lot of uncertainty in terms of what we will see. So at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled conditions, and I've given about 25% chance of a minor storm, but in some predictions, we're seeing as much as a 25% chance of a major storm. But these things will only last for a very short while. And then things should be quieting down just a little bit, but things will be pretty sporadic all throughout the week. Now, at mid-latitudes, we're expecting normal to unsettled conditions with up to a 20% chance of active conditions. But again, most likely not, though most likely won't even get any aurora at mid-latitudes. And these kind of con crazy conditions will continue easily through this next week before things settle down. And as we get closer to the end of the year, we get a chance for a real solar storm. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we essentially have a spotless sun. We have the old region 2731 that has lost its designation. That's why you see it here in parentheses. This region is not a risk for big flares, so we have no risk for radio blackouts right now when everything is in the green. The one thing it is still doing is boosting the solar flux. We are still holding on to low 70s. That means that we're at the low end of marginal for radio propagation. Now we will likely lose this region as it rotates to the sun's backside right around Christmas Eve. So you know, we're going to have a little bit of a dip in the solar flux at that time back into poor conditions, which should at least keep some radio amateurs off of the bands during the holiday, which might make their families very happy. But we should get another region that will rotate back into Earth view here in the next week or so. So you only get a little reprieve before the, the solar flux will probably boost again. Now on top of that, because we are at solar minimum, the cosmic ray flux is penetrating far more than it normally would. So all you frequent flyers, and this includes you air crew who fly over 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high altitudes, you are in the marginal range for radiation dose. And this does include you prenatal passengers. So please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week, well, it's kind of a mixed bag. We've got these small pockets of fast wind from these tiny coronal holes on the Earth-facing sun right now that are keeping us at pretty much unsettled conditions. Now, this is good news for aurora photographers at high latitudes. You guys are getting sporadic shows here and there, which is probably keeping you on your toes. But your aurora photographers at mid-latitudes, well, we're probably going to have to wait till maybe a New Year's celebration for that big coronal hole to rotate into the Earth strike zone and give us aurora chances down at mid-latitude. So, oh, be patient. Now, also, uh, amateur radio and shortwave radio responders, well, you guys are enjoying a little bit of a boost right now from these unsettled conditions, 
and from region 2731. That's a remnant region, but it's still bright enough to keep the solar flux up at marginal levels uh, on Earth's day side. So enjoy this propagation for a few more days before things kind of weaken a little bit. And then don't worry, we've got another region that's going to be rotating into Earth view here within the next week or so, and that should boost the solar flux up again for you. Now, the last is we've got GPS operators. Well, you guys, you know, all things considered, GPS reception looks pretty good just about everywhere. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.